let's talk about some more residents of Tartarus. Once upon a time there were some twin brothers. One was called Danaeus and one was called Egyptus. Danaeus was the king of Libya and Egyptus was the king of Egypt, of course. Egyptus had 50 sons and Danaeus had 50 daughters. Egyptus commanded that Danaeus's 50 daughters marry his 50 sons. Danaeus objected to this because, I don't know, incest maybe. And he and his 50 daughters fled Libya and arrived in the land of Argos. The Argives, the people of Argos, welcomed him and his daughters. Eventually, Danaeus became king of Argos, but Egyptus hadn't forgotten. And he and his 50 sons arrived in Argos and demanded that the daughters come and marry his sons. To spare the Argives from having any war, Danaeus conceded. Before his 50 daughters were set to marry Egyptus' 50 sons, Danaeus gave each of his daughters a dagger and instructed them to kill their husband on the wedding night. The wedding night came and the 50 daughters got married to the 50 sons. That night, almost all of the daughters followed through and killed their husbands. All but one. One of Danaeus's daughters felt guilt because she had expressed to her new husband that she wanted to remain a virgin and he had complied. So she didn't want to kill him. But thanks to this, Danaeus was caught. The 50 daughters of Danaeus were free to take their own husbands after this and they chose their husbands based on a foot race. But the daughters had not escaped their punishment. When they all died, they were condemned to Tartarus, where they were ordered to fill a bathtub full of water all day and all night. But they were given jugs with holes in them, like a sieve, meaning that this task was never ending, it could not be finished. And they carried water around for eternity in Tartarus.